Hello, we are back again to playing the Doom Core trilogy, and currently we are on map 17, which is called Fueling Docks. And once again, we see my love for the metal textures, metal themes. And this is another map that I really enjoyed early on. Th actually, you used to have these switches that were behind the start, where you just flip it, and there was a little dummy sector that's behind the start with the player dummies, and so you would activate a lift and it would give you a shotgun just by flipping switch. But I decided to change that for this trilogy release b because I remember how often it was actually a problem at times when playing some multiplayer Doom, and usually I could play through Z Damon, and there were times where you would just randomly spawn in like one of the player dummy sector areas and such, so I decided to just do away with that so that it won't become a problem in case anybody ever tried to play these maps multiplayer. So, definitely thankful for a lot of the multiplayer experiences I've had with Thursday Night Survival and otherwise, because that's kind of helped clarify a lot of different things on what I should and shouldn't put into a lot of the Doom map stuff. Oh, that's pretty cool. Not too worried about taking too much damage here, because this map actually is quite generous with health. At least I recall there's a few different secrets. Here's one of them. It's a Soul Sphere, of course. I don't actually need it just yet, but I might just grab it just to... Well, just so I don't have to come back here later, really. But I always really like this idea with all the compartments and the bridge that cuts through the map. And eventually you gain access to all the different compartments. And then run through to this really nasty trap. Once again, Chain Gunners. One of our favorite neighbors. I do like uh, some of these little thin ledges here. I know there probably aren't too many people are too fond of those kind of ideas, but I just kind of like climbing on the architecture a little bit. Oop, don't want to get locked in there. Well, you can't really get locked, it's just kind of a quick door. So, yeah. I do remember going over these kind of maps. I'm trying to think of I guess it was, yeah, I mean, most of these maps were made in 2010. I mean, that's one of the things actually about Doom Core is sometimes I forget it was released in the summer of 2011 because I f feel like most of these maps were made in 2010. And I actually had gotten to about 27 maps or so. And I think that's when I started the side project Reverie, which didn't begin as a megawad. It was just something that took my attention away from Doom Core when I took a break from it. And it was just sitting at 27 maps for a pretty long time, actually. And I ended up getting really carried away with the Reverie and the ideas for it, so... It's just kind of turned into yet another megawad. I guess I was just really enthusiastic about Doom stuff, so... Yeah, I was totally obsessed with making maps. I can only imagine how against that a lot of people would have been at the time if they had known that I was working on two megawatts when I haven't even made one yet. But it's totally understandable. I mean, it's not something I would encourage, but it's interesting how it just happened to work itself out. Oh yeah, that switch lowers a blue key, which is in the area next to this one. It's beyond that door, or area. Just gotta watch the barrels here. And I do need to watch my health just a little bit. There is a secret in here. It's a lift here and a door. It gives you a computer map. So, that's about seven secrets. Good amount. So yeah, it's actually, oh, actually this area here. And we grab the blue key. And just walk this way and that door opens randomly. It 
Yeah, I just always really liked the interconnected nature of this map. Of course, besides being the metal-based texture map, which obviously I'd done that a whole lot in this Megawad. I know some people probably thought there were too many metal themes at times. Gotta be careful here, because... Uh... Oh yeah, I think uh, there should be a Soul Spear secret not too far from here. Pretty crowded room. I think I'm getting shot by a hit scanner. Yeah, it's too bad those earlier recordings didn't work out too well. I really liked the commentary I was giving for both of them, but unfortunately you just couldn't hear me talking through all the noise of the game. Okay, I think I'll just erase all these guys. <laughs> and not too risky behind the fence. It's just kind of annoying with the pain elemental. Spawning over and over. Sheesh. Yep. Oh, wow. <laughs> Don't know what he's doing there. Oh, I get it. Okay, I remember actually. That revenant, I think, was in the pit. It was actually the liquid down here. I wonder if there's any other health I missed. Would have thought maybe there was something around here. Hmm. Especially here when there's all these chain gunners, I would have thought maybe I'd placed some health here. Uh, just a little bit here and there. Oh, actually, I think there is a berserk pack I left over here. Good. And that'll go perfectly fine with the Soul Sphere coming up. <laughs> yeah, actually there's probably just a few enemies here and there. I think those specters also came from this area. They just kind of wander off into the teleport over here. Gotta be careful though, exposing myself over here, because I know there's hit scanners, I think, on the far side over here. By the way, I do like this little tease with the BFG and the Megasphere. I thought that was pretty cool. Yep, there they are. <laughs> I think there might be one more monster down here. I'll just take these guys out and then I'll go for the Soul Sphere finally. Yeah, but I don't remember a whole lot else about this map. It was probably made just a little before or after that city map, which is map 16. And there's the BFG secret. It's just a secret crate and yeah, that crate lift over there and then you jump to the teleport. This switch opens a window which shows all those enemies. And here's another little secret, which is a line def trigger, I think somewhere over there. Gotta be careful though. Don't want to get trapped with the Baron wandering around. I don't remember if it does trap you actually, I don't think it does. But just to be on the safe side. Oh, did they teleport? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I guess that'll be an easy telefrag later then. Now I can't really see these guys wandering over here. Yeah, unfortunately, I just got all the little imp snipers here and there. Just take them out one by one. Not the best thing in the world to have to deal with. But anyway, it's, I think that's pretty much it for this map, other than the one secret left, I think, over here. And a fun little telefrag. Guess I should have put block lines for the monsters, but... Then again, it's fun to telefrag once in a while. Uh, I think the last few enemies will probably be in the exit area. Yep, that looks like everything, so we're out of here. So, yeah, Feeling Docks. That's one of the other maps I would consider one of my favorites from Doomcore. I'm always a fan of the metal textures, and I just like the submerged nature of the map with the bridge and the water areas. 
and all the little compartments that open up as you cross over into different areas. But yeah, that's pretty much it for that map, so I'll see you guys in the next part. Take care.